Kanye West mentions Bitcoin in his latest interview. The Australian Security Exchange plots its blockchain integration. Venezuela offers India a 30% discount on oil if it pays in the Petro crypto. And is Oscar Mayer's Baycoin the ICO of quarter two? We've got all your headlines mixed with some daily market analysis. I'm Elio Trades, and your FUD TV daily update starts now. Welcome back, FUD Nation. Bitcoin is down a couple of percent here. However, I wouldn't be too worried about it as we do see this momentum starting to turn around. We've seen some of the coins in the top 10 already start to turn green after being red all morning. It looked like everything was just red and dead, but it looks like things are really starting to catch again. I wouldn't be surprised to see the market start turning upward again. Uh, obviously, we had some losses from the morning, but not really with Ontology. Gosh, it's so strong, this coin. Got knocked down, but it gets up again. It's the Chumbawamba song in cryptocurrency form. I get no Honestly, it's just good to see that the market is starting to stop its slide and hopefully we can start to build and start to see the highs that we saw a couple of days ago, start to revisit those, break through those as we keep pushing on this bull run, trying to get back to that full market health of $800 billion and hopefully hit that trillion dollar mark at some point in this year, if not beyond. When did time start? Do we have free will? And is the 30% Whoa, surge dude. in Bitcoin in April for real? Well, we've got a Bitcoin Jeez. alert with the Char Master card alert. The Char Master card alert. The Char Master card alert. So Kanye West just mentioned Bitcoin in an interview. Regardless of what you think about Kanye West, he is one of the most influential celebrities in pop culture. And of course, he's been silent for quite a while. So to see him return to the scene with such a fervor and to be dropping knowledge on Bitcoin and referring to it, that's good for the whole industry. It just shows that the pop culture sizzle is really starting to come back. Obviously, we had that tweet from Dan Bilzerian a couple days ago, and it just seems like the energy is starting to resemble that energy in January where it was really being talked about everywhere and started to really feel like this special energy. The Australian Securities Exchange explained that they would be doing a blockchain integration to supplement all of their clearinghouse technology and essentially run their operations as early as Q4 2020. This is still a ways down the line, but again, we're just seeing that the power, we're just seeing time and time again, the powerful financial institutions that have guided our financial world are switching over to blockchain. It's no longer a question of if, but a question of when, how fast, and what form it's all gonna take. Just more good crypto news, guys, what do you want? Now this I find interesting because we're seeing here how the Venezuelan petrodollar is really becoming this political statement, but as well, it's like this experiment, right? This country, Venezuela, is financially insolvent. Like it's got huge financial issues. And so it's leveraging everything that it has right now, it's oil, it's precious metals, and it's trying to create a cryptocurrency that gains a ton of value. And now they're trying to force that by requiring sales of, of its oil and giving a huge discount for the sale of its oil if it's paid in the Petro, which essentially forces the market, it creates a de facto market. I honestly see Venezuela's experiment as really the first of its kind of essentially a government trying to hop on cryptocurrency and use the gains and the swell and the sort of economic opportunities of cryptocurrency to benefit itself as a nation. We haven't seen that yet. And so this is pretty fascinating. I'm sure if this goes well, it will not be the last version of this story. And we've just gotten word that Argentina is okaying a project to install four to 5,000 cryptocurrency enabled ATMs across the country. They're gonna be ATMs that allow for blockchain transactions, prepaid debit cards, credit cards, the buying and selling of cryptocurrency. This is a very, very forward looking plan. And of course, for places with a little less infrastructure around banking and technology, it's always good to have these physical ATMs they allow for a much wider access, especially for transition from fiat to crypto. This cuts out the whole need for a Coinbase or anything like that. You could literally take your cash, buy cryptocurrency, and go on with your day. This, these types of stories are how you can see Bitcoin's price jumping dramatically in the coming years as countries are going to start allowing access in a way that just simply wasn't possible before to cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then of course with those, you can go and enter the whole cryptocurrency world if you have any savvy phenomenal news for cryptocurrency adoption. And for those of you who are invested in and or and for those of you waiting on the new bread release, it's out so you can now use the bread wallet to trade Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash. Their wallet is now up live. You can check it out. Of course, there's some rewards programs involved and they're going to be doing some airdrops in anticipation or a promotion rather of their release. So cool stuff. Of course, if you're invested in bread, this is good news as they're delivering their tech. And this, my fellow Fudsters, my Fudtastic Familia is a work of genius. Oscar Mayer has just announced Baycoin.
You can only redeem the coin for slices of bacon. And they have a running ticker, of course, that shows how many slices of bacon are equal to how many coins at any given time. Pretty amazing stuff. Couldn't help but have a little giggle with this one. Oscar Mayer, cheers to you. I'm sure it will be the ICO of the year. Now, if you had a good time watching FUD TV today, let's all hit that like button. Super good for us, super good for the content. If you're new to this channel and you don't know what we do around here, it's crypto vids every day, all day, blockchain education. We're just trying to elevate the standards around here. So if you're new, we invite you to subscribe to this channel and of course, hit that bell notification. That bell will be your gateway into crypto heaven. You gotta hit that bell, you go straight to crypto heaven. It's in the book somewhere. I talked to Satoshi, it's in the book. I'm Elio Trades. It's been amazing having you with me today on FUD TV, and I'll catch you very soon on the next episode.